Hey everybody, it's good to be back on YouTube. I've missed being out here. I'll go into why I've been gone for so long a little later. Appreciate all the emails and the text and the messages saying, are you okay? Where you been? Miss your videos. And uh, I appreciate that. It means a lot. Um, we'll go into all that a little later. But I, I started building, or I, I have this idea that I want to build a whirly gig and I want to make it like a Spitfire World War II aircraft. So I said, okay, how big do I want to make this thing? So I know how long I want to make the fuselage, but then all the other ratios come into play. How big is the wing? How big is the horizontal stabilizer, etc. So I found a three view drawing. You can go out and search the internet and you can find three view drawings for all the World War II aircrafts. And I'll show you how I go about dimensioning, setting up ratios. And keep in mind, you can do this with furniture too. I've done it. I found a table or a bookcase in, in a in an Ikea magazine or whatever, uh, a Woodsmith magazine maybe. And, and sometimes you want to know, well, what's this dimension, if that? Well, just measure it off. Get one good measurement and then set up some ratios. Do a little math. And you can scale almost any project. Now, let me show you how I'm, I scaled this Spitfire drawing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to determine some dimensions. If all you've got is a drawing, or you can do this from a photograph, but all you have to do is determine really one dimension or two dimensions. For instance, I want to make a whirly gig that looks like a Spitfire airplane. And I found this photograph or drawing on the internet and, and so I just measured it up. The wing length is six inches. The tail length is one and three quarter inches. The fuselage is five inches long. So if I wanted to make this fuselage for this whirly gig say 15 inches long all I need to do is set up a ratio between this 5 inches and this 6 inches so once we have these known ratios if I want to make this fuselage say I want to make it 14 and a half inches long. If I know that's how long I want the fuselage. So, how long do I then want to make the wing? Well, when you take 6 and 5 of this drawing, 6 divided by, uh, by 5, it's about 1.2. So I can say that this wing is about 1.2 times the length of the fuselage. Now, now these are approximates, so I can say 14 times 1.2, 14 and a half times 1.2, and and that is uh, about 17 and a half. So if I make the fuselage 14 and a half inches. And to keep the ratio between the two about right, I'll make the wing 17 and a half. And in the same fashion, well then how long do I need to make the tail? Or the horizontal stabilizer? Well, we've got the same thing. We've got, we've got uh, 1.75 is the length of this one. And the length of this one is six. Well, when you divide that out, that comes out to be about tw about 0.29. So this wing or this horizontal stabilizer is 29% the length of this. So remember, we calculated here. So if we go 17 and a half times 29%. Let's see what we come up with on that one. So 
17.5 times 29%. That means this horizontal stabilizer will be five inches long. So if we do that, now I've got 17 and a half here, five inches here, and 14 and a half inches here. And so I can make my rough pattern that way, or actually what I did was I, I took a different three view. You can find three views of all kinds of aircraft that'll show the top and the side and uh, the dimensions. And I took a graphics program and I cropped it all out where all I had was the wing. So now I can take just the wing and keeping the aspect ratio the same, expand it out until I get my wing 17 and a half. And then I cropped out the wing where I have all, all I have is a fuselage and I can keep the aspect ratio the same and drag it out until I get it to 14 and a half and then I can do the same thing with the tail. I crop everything out and draw that out until I get to five inches. And when I do that, then I can make my molds or my patterns and here they are. There's the five inch pattern for the horizontal stabilizer. This is the 17 and a half inch pattern for the wing. And there is the pattern for the fuselage side view. So now I am ready to make my patterns and to start making my whirly gig. And it'll be, all the ratios will be somewhat realistic to the actual Spitfire. Well, I hope that's something that you can use in your woodworking, metalworking, crafting, whatever it is you're doing. And you can do the same thing with a photograph from Woodsmith or Ikea. You find a bookcase or a table. Uh, you can set up one dimension and just measure that picture. Make your notes, set up your ratios, and you can find out uh, within reason that's what your dimensions that you want to make something and there's always that golden ratio 1.668 or whatever that is but uh, we hope you enjoy that hey in the near future here I don't know if I'll do it next week or not but we're gonna make this whirly gig that's gonna be a upcoming video I'm going to give you a shop tour yeah I've been in my shop two years now uh, well I've had my shop two years uh, I've actually only been working about a year as you know I've been gone and there's some reasons we'll go into um, maybe in the next video maybe when we do the shop tour video uh, you know what building a shop it's hard to get it uh, where you can flow like you want it to I bet I've moved things half a dozen times different layouts and I think I finally got it to where I've utilized the space. All my tools can be accessed. I've still got floor space. And I uh, think I've finally got it to where uh, I'm going to enjoy it. So thanks again for all your uh, emails and calls and messages. I really appreciate them. We hope that you tell everybody I'm back. And uh, the videos may not be weekly, but I'll try to get them uh, maybe twice a month, maybe a week. Who knows? It just depends. Main thing I want you to do, though, is during this time, this is a crazy time of the world, is everybody be safe. Right now, it's uh, in Texas, we've got a shelter in place order till May the 20th, where I live anyway. And um, I am going into the office. Um, every other day I've got an, a, a counterpart that works the other days that I'm not there we've reduced our workforce so our exposure is minimal uh, we don't have very many of us in the office and in the shop at the same time so our exposure is minimal but stay at home and stay safe and when you're out there pay attention to what other people are doing other people don't always pay attention stay safe Keep your health and your family's health first and foremost in your mind. And 
Lord willing, maybe this will all pass in the, in, in, in the near future. Stay tuned for our next video. And until then, everybody, be safe. Thanks.